What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com back with another news video and a few things before I jump into it. Like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Also, this is the last day to enter the draw for the Air Jordan 4 Lightning. There is a link down in the description below. Now to go over a few highlights, I received information from my source that the next Trophy Room collaboration won't be the Air Jordan 1, but it'll be the Air Jordan 7. Also, we have a first full look at the Air Jordan 1 High OG, Dark Marina Blue, much more from Jordan Brand, a good amount from Nike, and a few things from Adidas. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Professional gamer Ninja will have a new time-in collection with Adidas that will consist of two models. First, we have the Adidas ZX 2K 2.0, which will be available in three colorways. That includes Cloud White, Signal Cyan, and Glow Pink. The second feature is Gray 2, Signal Cyan, and Glow Pink. The third feature is Signal Cyan, Blue, and Yellow. The second model is the Adelet Boost, and that will be available in Blue and Signal Cyan. And the second pair features Signal Cyan, Cloud White, and Glow Pink. The collection will release on August 31st. The ZX 2K 2.0 will retail at 150, while the slides will cost you 80. Technically, this isn't a sneaker, but as you guys know, there's a lot of hype behind the Yeezy slide and one of the upcoming colorways is known as glow green. Now there was a rumor going on that they could potentially glow in the dark. However, I don't know if that's true. And from this first look, we can't tell either. So it just might be the shade, but yeah, this is the first look. It looks exactly like the mock-ups that went out a few months back. And also on that same day, there will be two other colorways releasing, so we'll have a total of three colorways dropping, and those pairs are known as Pure and Suit. So the release date is September 6th, and the retail price will be 60. Undefeated has announced the release date for the Nike AF1 vs Dunk 5 on it pack. This is drop two. So we got a pair of Nike Dunks and a pair of the Air Force One Low. Now the Air Force One Low comes dressed in yellow, blue, white. We have an aged midsole. In previous videos, I know I showcased the shoe as well as the Nike Dunk Low. It comes dressed in mostly black. We have a blue tinted outsole and both pairs will feature Croc, Nubuck, suede, leather, and canvas. They also have Dunk vs. AF1 branding on the insoles, and then we have Undefeated's Five Strike logo on the lateral hill and tongue labels. So at the time of shooting this, we only have a release date for Undefeated's flagship stores and online at undefeated.com, which is September 3rd. Currently, a sneakers drop has yet to be announced. However, it's very possible that they will be available on sneakers, we just don't know the date as of yet and the retail price is 120 each. The Para Nike SB Dunk Low released on July 31st. Now there's a lot of hype for the shoes. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of them. I feel like they could have done something different or in my opinion, better. And now we have a look at four samples that could have released instead of the retail pair or they could have been a friends and family exclusive. Out of these four, I think three would have been better than what released. Each pair does have that unique print somewhere featured on the shoe. I really like that pink one. I feel like that's really catchy. Also the white pair with the mesh on the panels and then it has that unique pattern on the heel and ankle overlay. That's just my opinion. Unfortunately, none of these pairs are expected to release. However, things could change in the future, who knows? But if any of these catch your eye, let me know down in the comments. I know some people have been waiting for release info on the Quarter Snacks Nike SB Dunk Low, known as Zebra. The pair is inspired by Little Debbie Zebra Cakes, and we now have a release date, however, it looks like there's going to be some bad news along with this release date. This pair is said to be exclusively available at select skate shops on September 1st. So it doesn't look like a sneakers drop will happen. However, things can change. Official images did come out about a month ago. That doesn't guarantee a release will take place. However, it does give at least me some hope. But if you're really liking this pair, your best bet would be to call your local Nike SB retailer, see if they're getting them in. And if they are, more than likely they're going to do a draw or something along those lines. Also, the retail price is 110. 
All right, so I know some people are going to go at me in the comments section about this shoe. And yes, the Jordan 6 1723 Carmine will be returning this year. Now, the last time we saw this model release was in 2014. This is a hybrid shoe which combines the Air Jordan 6 and the Air Jordan 17. So when you add 6 and 17 up, it equals 23, hence the name. I do remember when this pair released, there was a ton of people wearing them. I think it was more so non-sneaker heads. They wanted a pair of Jordans and this was widely available. So a lot of people picked them up. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I actually like the colorway, but overall something just looks off on the shoe to me. I don't know what it is. But of course, that's just my opinion. Let me know yours down below. Currently, we don't have a specific release date nor a release month, and we don't have a retail price. Both Jordan Brand and Nike will have a full special collection for fall and winter. And recently, I showed off the triple black Air Jordan 1 Acclimate. Now we have a look at the Air Jordan 1 Low Sherpa Fleece. Again, another pair that is said to keep your feet warm during the colder months. And for this particular pair, it has neutral shades throughout while constructed with suede. We also have gray on the swoosh logos, but what truly stands out on this pair is Sherpa fleece on the tongue and liner. Some of the other highlights include white on the Jumpman located on the insoles and then the same shade on the wings logo, which is placed on the hill. We then have a white midsole and a gray rubber outsole. Unfortunately, we don't have a release date. However, they are expected to debut this fall and no retail price. Another colorway of the Air Jordan 1 Acclimate popped up and this pair is being called Chocolate. Now, the specific colorway is brown basalt, oatmeal, light chocolate and black. So just like the triple black pair, it features a heavier leather on the upper. The perforations on the toe box have now been sealed, which will combat against the rain. The pair also features D-ring eyelets, a padded collar with indents, and instead of the Wings logo being on the collar, it has moved to the hill. I forgot to mention that in the previous video on the triple black pair. I do apologize. Now, what I don't like about the shoe is that it has a plastic clip that wraps the entire shoe. For this pair, it definitely makes the midsole look a lot bulkier, but I think it's just cosmetic. Finishing the look, we have fur on the liner, white on the midsole, and a black rubber outsole. Again, no release date for this pair, but they are expected to debut this fall, and no retail price. New images of the Air Jordan 14 Low red lipstick recently leaked. So it gives us a bit of a better look. Now, as most of you know, I'm a huge fan of the Air Jordan 14. And you would think that whenever you get black, red, and white on a shoe, typically it's an instant cop, at least for me, and especially on a 14. Now, I'm still planning on picking this pair up because I feel like I have to grab every 14 that releases. I think I know why, and that is the speckled detailing on the midsole. For some reason, I think that just goes over the top, but that's just my opinion. Also from these images, what we didn't know before, the insoles will have kisses all over them. So probably a shoe, even if I do pick it up, it'll be strictly for my collection. I showed my girl thinking that maybe she would want them, but she doesn't. So for those that do want them, they will release on September 16th and the retail price will be 170. Not much new information on the Air Jordan 1 High OG handcrafted. However, some new images popped up. And since they're product shots, I did want to feature them because it just gives us a clean look. Now, what's not shown in these images is that the shoe features 3M reflective. So on the panel going towards the hill, that's all 3M reflective. And then there's a little bit of 3M that will be on the toe box. Also, it looks like in these photos that the laces are dipped. So half of it's black and then the other half looks like bright crimson or a peach like shade. That's about it for this pair. I think they're clean. Definitely a nice winter shoe. And at the time of shooting this, the release date is December 19th and the retail price is being reported as 170. However, that isn't confirmed, but if the price changes, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Let me know your thoughts on this pair in the comment section. In one of the previous videos, Z Sneakerhead Z and I, we put together a mock-up showing what the Air Jordan 1 High OG Dark Marina Blue would look like. Then about a week ago, we got a few teaser images of that shoe, which pretty much confirmed that 
the color blocking that we did would be what's actually releasing. Then, late last night, we received our first full look at the shoe, which is spot on to the Photoshop. Now, other than the first look, again, there's not much more new information. Previously, I covered the release date, the retail price. I'll do it again in this video, but what I'm saying is that this section is going to be short, just a few images and nothing else really new. But the release date is January 15th and the retail price will be 170. Definite pickup for me. I think these are really clean, but let me know your thoughts down below. The exclusive news for this video is that my sources have told me that the next Trophy Room collaboration will be on the Air Jordan 7. Now, earlier in the week, there were reports going around that Trophy Room would be releasing another Air Jordan 1 collaboration. And it made sense. Marcus Jordan did showcase some images of the front of his new store location that will open holiday 2021. In that photo, we saw a silhouette of the Air Jordan 1 with a question mark. Now, the other shoes in that photo are past collaborations that he's done. So a lot of people speculated that it would be the Air Jordan 1. From there, I reached out to my source at Jordan Brand, and he confirmed to me that it'll actually be the Air Jordan 7. Now, there's good news and bad news with this. I don't have a ton of information. It could be a mid or a low. It hasn't been 100% sealed in, at least at the time when I was told. The 7 low doesn't look bad in my opinion. However, I would rather it be a mid or high, whatever you want to call them. Also, the inspiration behind the shoe is said to be Barcelona, somewhat Olympic, but more so Barcelona and Michael Jordan's time, which I'm sure everybody knows, Michael Jordan and the Dream Team took home the gold medal in the Olympics in 1992. So if you're wondering why I have the image on the thumbnail like that, that photo is of Michael Jordan in Barcelona, and then we have the Olympic Jordan 7. I really didn't know what to put. I needed something catchy. Also, for some more information, I was told that the project is small. Now, he didn't clarify what that means. I'm not sure if it means that the amount of pairs releasing will be limited or if they're going to have some matching apparel and it's not going to be too much more. But even if they are limited, I mean, the chances of getting them are slim to none. Let's be honest. One other thing. I was also told that there is a possibility that the release could be delayed. I wasn't told why, but it could be just due to COVID. I don't have confirmation on that. Also, he did supply to me that things could change. And as of now, holiday 2021 is when they're expected to drop. It's possible they could get delayed and no retail price. I think this collaboration could be very, very interesting, especially if it's tied to Barcelona, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me know your thoughts on the Trophy Room Air Jordan 7 collab. I did say on Twitter that the collab wouldn't be a Jordan 1, and a lot of people guessed the 3 and a bunch of other ones. One person guessed the 7, so I don't know if it was just random, but congrats to you. Anyways, more info coming soon. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you have a second and haven't done so already, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here and enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Now for Monday, more than likely, it's going to be the September Air Jordan release dates video. I did have enough, obviously, to do a news video. And when I was told this information, I didn't want to sit on it for too long because if I did, then someone else was eventually going to leak it. But let me know what you liked or disliked in the comment section below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Perfect.